Good morning, everybody, and this is your DAX day trade setups for today. So, just looking at the eight hour, buyers are still trying to come into this in this zone. I'm not one of them, definitely not uh, interested in buying at the moment, not with the length of time that we've been stuck in the sideways consolidation. Look at the oscillators, they have crossed over. Um, yeah, don't really have structure there that we're bouncing off, but that's the only indicator I have. And then the next indicator that I do have is that we are continuing to make a series of lower highs and you might as well just draw the bottom part of the triangle in. Uh, we're making a series of higher lows. So still in a triangle, uh, the S&P is looking that it's probably going to break through its triangle fairly quickly. And I just want to mind you that. But if you look at this on the three hour, that is just complete confusion this week. Tells the upside, tells the downside, Bob wire. Um, oscillators here, no indication at all. This is not something that you want to be buying or selling, to be honest. So dropping down to the three hour, we were again above and below the moving averages. We are now hovering below the moving averages. Oscillators not giving us any indication. Moving average is flat. Um, you know, yesterday, pointed out in the comments well, in the YouTube chat that uh, you know, we're in a squeeze. You look at the daily, you've got a Bollinger squeeze, which is really, really tight. So I'm very, very reluctant to jump in on any direction on the DAX at the moment. Uh, something is brewing, that's for sure. But you know, when you look at this on the 15 minute, look at this decent move up and you think we're going to get going and then sideways then we just continue to drop. So looking at the oscillators at the moment, we stayed below, sorry, the indic, uh, I'll get it right now, the um, moving averages, we are staying below them right now. Oscillators have crossed over pointing down. So I would expect a rejection here. Now, there is a, a pretty well-known strategy on the DAX and that is the opening range strategy. So the first hour when the DAX opens is pretty much pre-market for the DAX. So that forms a range. Um, a five minute break and close above typically gets you moving up. Five minute uh, break and close below the range gets typically gets you moving down. So I would take uh, 15886 as my key. I'd want to break and a retest of that and I'd want it to hold for a move down to around 15816. Stop is going to be about a 40 point stop above this opening range. Uh, if it does break to the upside, I'd be looking to short off the top here. I know that's against the trend, but uh, just looking at what's going on, look there, everybody's shorting off the top now. So I don't think that's going to change. Okay, the other thing is this could be some sort of a weird flag, but I'm not going to read too much into that. I want to see structure break. So 15886. And if you look at the oscillators here, so the in, um, moving averages on the hour, you can see we do have a crossover and we blow the 155 here. So I think this is leaning to be a bit more bearish. Um, if you're looking for a swing trade, it's probably wise just to, to sit on the sides. But if you're looking for a fairly decent uh, five minute, 15 minute opportunity, just get these two levels of the high and the low for the range and uh, just get that in. As soon as you start dropping below it or above it, that's going to give you the opportunity to get the trade. Until then, it's sit on hands. Yeah. Hope that helps and uh, we'll catch up with you tomorrow morning. Cheers for now.